Hi everyone and welcome back to Crypto Rooms and today we're going to be focusing on a slightly higher level one. Shirt plus t-shirt equals clothes. Well you might be thinking, whoa whoa whoa, this, these numbers are way too big. Seriously, you expect us to do this type of problem? Well yes I do, but it doesn't matter how big the numbers look. It matters if you see a pattern in here. So we're going to be going over through this cryptography together using all of the knowledge we learned from the last time. <laughs> so let's get started. The first step with, we do is to always look at number of digits. So what do I mean by look at the number of digits? Well, what I mean is we're going to look at each of these numbers. That's the added up and the sum. Then we see how much digits they have. So, well, sure is a five-digit number. Five plus a six-digit number equals a seven-digit number. So immediately it should come to you that the first place value in the seventh digit number, so in this case it would be C, has to equal one. Because there's no other way for a six digit number plus a five digit number to add up to a seven digit number with C as two or greater. No, that's that's completely wrong. The biggest possible answer for clothes would be one. So, um, and notice, if C was zero, that couldn't happen because then there is no C at all. So, <clears throat> then C would equal one. And over here, since there's way too much digits, what I like to do is make a list of all of the digits and then cross them out after we use up each of them. So, over here, I'm going to cross out one because one is already to C. <clears throat> now we look at T and L. Well, <clears throat> T can only equal nine. Well, you might ask, well, Karen, why can T only equal nine? Well, say this was eight, one number less than nine. Is there a way for this column to add a two? No, that's not impossible. That's that's impossible because the biggest it can do is eighteen, and eighteen's ten-digit number is only a one. So no, um, t cannot equal eight. The only way it can produce a C over here, is that if it's 9, so that S plus S can add another 1 into the next place value. Okay, so then 9 goes to T, sweet. And now, you know, I, I'm going to do, I, I can erase these for now. Okay. Okay, so for t, if this t is 9, then this t is also 9. This t, these two t's are also 9's. Okay. And then we look at l. So if s plus s has a 1 over here, then this 1 plus 9 will equal 10. So then the c would be the 1's digit in 10. And the L has to equal zero because it can't be one or greater. So zero goes to the L in clothes. Now you look and you know, you think you're stuck. How how do we go on to the next step? How do we do this? 
Well, now we have to come from the biggest place value all the way and look at the smallest place value in the ones place. We see that in the ones place, we have 9 plus 9. We have two numbers, both of the add-ins. So 9 plus 9 is 18, so right away we know that s is equal to 8, and this will add a 1 over 2, the tens column. Notice how I'm marking that um, t plus t is 18, and there's a 1 carried over here. I'm marking all these to make it clear for me to understand. So, um, if this s is 8, then this s would also be 8 automatically, and this s. Now, over here in this column, we have two add-ins. 8 plus, oh, I have to cross that 8 out, yep, so sorry. 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. Makes sense, because we know that the 1 in 16 is carried over to the next place. So, O will equal 6, because it's going to be stuck in um, the original place value. So, 6 goes to O. Now we have the remaining digits, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Now you ask, what do we do now? There's still three columns in the middle. Aha, do you see where we start? So, how we start here is by looking at this column, the H. We know that it's H plus H. so. It has to equal an even number because h plus h, well, it's the same number added to itself, so it would it would definitely make an even number. So look at the sum. Is it an even number? No, it's nine. How can nine be an even number? The only way to solve this question is that from the last place value, they added a one. If this last place value added a 1 to the original even number that was h plus h, then it would equal t, which is 9. Okay, so now we know for sure that from this place value, they added a 1 over here. So that means that h plus h equals 8. So h plus h equals 8, but then added with that 1, it becomes 9, which is t. So, well, in the first place, what's what number added to itself? So let me quickly write this. h plus h equals 8. What number added to itself is equal to 8? Well, that would just be a half of 8, which is, yep, you got it, 4. h is equal to 4. Notice how we use the sense of odd and even numbers to solve the digits in that column. So we can cross out 4, and if these h's are 4's, this h would also ultimately be 4. Now we only we got it down to only, let's see, 3 more letters. So, well, I mean, we can start over here. What is i plus i? Well, i plus i is equal to 4. So, i plus i is equal to 4. So, 1i would just be half of 4, which is 2. So, we can cross that 2 and give the i's their 2. Okay. Now, we have the tens place. R plus R is equal to E. Well, now you're, you're probably really confused. What do we do now? Um, uh, since we only have three more digits left here, we just have to look at which of these makes sense. <coughs> For example, R can't be 7 because 7 plus 7, you know, 7 can't, it can't be 7, because the tens column doesn't add 1 to the to the hundreds column. So R can't be 7. So now it can only be 3 or 5. Let's say it was 3. 
if r is equal to 3, I'll, and I'll write that in red so we know that it's an if. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, and then from the 1's place, there's a 1. So 1 plus 6, no, 1 plus, yeah, 1 plus 6, that's 7. So then e would equal 7. So that works. So we have our answer. R is equal <coughs> to 3. 3 and E is equal to 7. Okay. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how did I solve this problem? That's right, because, because if you take took away the T, C, and L over here, you see that really it's a shirt plus shirt. So, of course, shirt plus shirt is the same number added to itself. So then, that's what's making everything easier. That is how we have to work with lots of rules about doubles while solving this problem. Now we have to go over the problem to see if our answer is correct. So the top, the shirt equals um, 84,239. T-shirt is equal to um, 984,239. And then you add them. Let's see if it equals uh, 1,069,048. So let's do this. So 9 plus 9 is 8. Move the 1 up here. 1 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 7. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. That's unaffected by anything. That's not affected by anything else. 4, four plus 4 is uh, equal to... <clears throat> 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. 9 plus 8 plus, no, over here, 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. Add 1 here. 1 plus 9 is equal to that. Okay. So, uh, what do we have here? Yes. We got the right answer. So, 